Oh. Liftable pallets and big bags. Liftable pallets and big bags. I guess we can probably uh, take start from zero off, right? Since we're... Maybe if I remove start from zero, it'll remove those two little um, question marks. Now that we've, we've started. Let's try that. I'm going to try. Watch it give me like a ton of money and ruin the whole playthrough. The uh, We need to sort out this uh, this oil mill, right? I'm going to check to see if it's uh, something that I have to, um, you know, delete and replace. It's going to cost a bit of money, but uh, we can't keep it the way it is. It's no good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we should buy a forklift at some point, too. You're right. All right, we're gonna need also um, a bit more fertilizer. I think we're good for seed, but we need some solid fertilizer, right? We're, we're pretty low. Let me um, let me get this one spot I missed. I did miss a little spot, and I'll go fill her up. Oh, and first, let me just take a look at this. No, there's no way I have 191 liters of canola, right? We have like uh, maybe 40 from that harvest. So I think we'll have to delete the building and replace it. How much does it cost to place a new one? Production. Uh, factories. We want the oil factory. That's a sugar mill. This one. It's 80,000. And I have 86. And we'll get some money back from... Okay, let's do it then. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen to the canola that I had in here, though. We'll get 58 grand for it. Or edit the save file. What if it corrupts my save, though? Will I lose all the canola in here? Is there a way for me to move it out? I'll see if I can get a bit of canola out of there first. The losses in revenue can go to my legal expenses in illegal forestry. Man, I, come on. I don't want that to happen. What's wrong? The, uh, the oil mill that we put down, I think, conflicted with another mod. And, uh, it's put, uh, it's put, like, tons and tons of canola in there that we don't, that we never actually had in the first place. So it's a, it's a, a little bit of, of a cheat. Big bags of solid fertilizer. Let's get four. Giving and taking money is just editing a number in an XML file. Um, and is that is that also true for the uh, amount of uh, product inside a factory as well? I'm sure it's not the uh, capacity. Yeah. If I if I go down to the canola oil factory, look, it's saying that it has 191,267 liters, which of course, there's no way we harvested that much. You saw me, I set up my, my cam for Geek Enders. I know, I set it up, but now I don't feel like using it again. I got too accustomed to not having it on. I can sit around topless and picking my nose and eating it as well no jingle jam is uh, it's all done it's only two weeks it's finito we've already sold a bit of the oil but I mean to be fair we did have about 40,000 liters of uh, where is where would this XML file be located we don't have any canola in the silo, no. 
It's, it all went into the uh, to the thing. Oh, I lie. We have forty-seven thousand two hundred. Oh, weird. Okay, I did not. Okay, so that's all of our canola in the silo. So it, I dumped it here, and it looks like it put it into the silo. And now in here, it's saying in building storage, there's 191,000. It's auto-pulling from the silo into the factory? I don't know. C can it actually do that? Can it actually do that? Okay, let me see if I can find this. My documents, my games, documents, my games. Farming Simulator, 2022, save game. Okay, I don't know what save game it is, but I guess we can find the one that's been, these are all from 2021. Ah, this one, save game one. And what am I looking for? An XML file? There's a DAT file. There's a bunch of GDM and GRLE files. The production cannot pull material. It only shows the extra amount that is nearby. If you have 80k in production and 80k in the silo, it shows 160k, but production will halt once it drops to 80k. Alright, well this is saying that it has 191,000 liters nearby, which is not right. And it says it has 191,267 liters of storage. That's building storage. What, so, is that is that amount not actually in there and it's just pulling it from here? This number is not going down, though. I would have thought that this number would have gone down a little bit during uh, a cycle if it is actually pulling from here, which I, I'm sure it is not. I think we harvested about this much. Probably about 47,000 liters of it. Because I... When the final field was done, I... I took a load of about 20,000 liters, and then I took multiple loads in before that as well. Yeah, it should be going down. Yeah, I agree. Collectibles, density map, density map height, economy, items, missions, NPC on create objects, placeables... Um, yeah, okay, I found the XML file. So what are we looking for? We're looking for oil, sunflower oil, canola oil. All right, so I got stats, fill type, canola oil received, 4,000 paid, 6,000. Um, I can't find this gigantic number that it's referencing, the 197. Olive oil, raisins, grape juice, lettuce, tomato, strawberry, boards, furniture, bo boards, digested, Gi digestate, digestate. Um, let's keep looking for oil then. Olive oil, production oil plants. Okay, here we go. So I've got placeable file name, data, placeables, lizard, production points, oil plant, uh, production points, canola oil, Node fill type canola fill level 144,000. Node fill type canola oil fill level 522. Okay, I still don't see anything relevant to the... Yeah, okay, that's it. I don't know if I can take the canola out of it. It's the 144000. 000. Okay, but where is the where is this one nine seven uh, number, or is it the one four four plus the forty seven that I have that's making up that total number? Oh, the one nine one thousand is added from the. Okay, so I just need to change this fill level to zero. 
Yeah, I'm trying to fix the canola, yeah. All right, let me save the game and then I can edit it and come out. And see if this works. chips yeah okay so where it says fill type and fill level the fill level for wood chips furniture and boards is all fine so the the canola oil but the actual canola fill level uh, value is super off What's the, uh, how do you do a, uh, a comment in XML? It's like the less than sign with the exclamation mark dash dash, right? And then you have to wrap it in a dash dash greater than. So I'll keep the old node and then I'll just make a new node with the new value. And then if we have to revert it, at least I can do it, right? Canola, and I'll just set it to zero. Okay. All right, I've saved that, so let's see if this actually works. It should be fine. XML is not like something that gets compiled, so it, it's not gonna. I don't think it'll break the uh, the game like while it's running, right? It's just a value that it pulls from a text file. All right, let's see. Well, it didn't corrupt the save. All right, so building storage, the value is still 191,267. So you'd expect one of these numbers to, to go down as the oil is being produced, right? But it's not. So this is placeables. Let me just see if it actually changed anything oil canola oil olive oil okay so i've set canola fill level to zero but it hasn't actually changed anything It's still, uh, it's still got this, uh, this value, but also none of this canola is being used. It's just infinite, yeah. Yeah, I think we might have to just de delete it and rebuild it. At least it looks like um, the canola I harvested it is at least in the silo. So let's try this, I guess, and just see what happens. So we're gonna sell this for 58 grand. Um, and then we'll place a new one production so this is 80 grand we want to place this basically where it was before right Okay, so now it's saying it's got 47,267, which is how much I have in the silo. So if I go to production and I go canola oil and I activate it, ah, it's just done the same thing. 191,267 canola. I don't know what I can do here. It's just, yeah, it's fucked. It's not... It's, I, I mean, it's, it, it's great because it's just infinite canola. I'd never have to plant it again, but it's so broken. It must be conflicting with something else, yeah. You think maybe the silo?
Yeah, Gleeds. It's not using any resources when it's meant to be, is the issue. I get, I, I know that the numbers add up, I get that. But, the canola should be being used up, and it is not. So we've, we've got infinite canola, which is broken. I'll take the canola out of the silo and see if that fixes it. How much capacity does this have? I don't know if it has enough to, to take all of it out. I don't mind getting rid of this silo, actually, because it is... Uh, well, we're down money now. It, it costs 30k to, to try that, which is annoying, too. Twenty two thousand five hundred liters out of the silo now? Yeah, so that makes sense. That number makes sense, but you'd ex still expect it to use it up, right? So there's still twenty four thousand seven hundred and sixty seven in there. Uh, this is so broken, I I don't really know how how we would fix it. We'd have to go through like every other mod that could be potentially affecting it. I, I don't even know where to start. It would just take so long. Move it away from the silo. Yeah, but it's still getting an, it's still getting a number on top of that though, right? So it's producing. It's producing, but it's not actually using. It's just producing um, oil out of thin air. Or maybe the silo is preventing it from pulling from it, even though it's trying to. All right, so next we delete it and replace it, and I'll just have to give myself the money back since I could just cheat money back in, right? So we want to place it far away from here, from the silo. Okay, we can put it over here, I don't mind. All right, let's try that now. So that it shouldn't have any, okay, storage is empty. And now if we go to canola oil and activate it, Materials missing. It must just be the proximity to that silo then. So maybe the so maybe it has something in it built into it where it tries to pull from it. But maybe the no man's land silo doesn't like it. Maybe maybe it just thinks no way. I'm not not allowing it. But then the the factory just takes it anyway. But then the no man's land mod prevents the uh, the number from updating. So we should be 
able to just put this canola in here, right? Great, so now it's actually using up canola to produce oil. That's just, that's what we wanted. That's fine. Right, I have to cheat myself back in some money. Because unfortunately, that's... We, 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 wanna, we, want, uh, we want back what we started with, right? Does anybody remember exactly what we had when we started? It was like 80-something K. Oh, shit. Eighty three K? No, it was eighty six. It was eighty six, I remember, because we we said, Oh, we, we're gonna have to buy another plant and it's eighty K and I would only have six left, so it's eighty six. Whoops. God, the tractor is not happy. Okay, there we go. Farms.xml. Okay. Uh, what is it? Farms? Farm ID, my farm. Money seven. It said it's saying I got seventy nine thousand right now, but I I do not. Boo, 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 doo, doo, doo. Finances. Harvest income. Other. Oh, you need to close the save to refresh it. Okay. All right, let's see. Edit. So what did we say we wanted? Oh, yeah, it's there. So what did we say we wanted to, it to be? 86. 86,000, right? 86.4. Okay, 86,000 on the dot, which is, uh, which is what we started with, right? And now the factory's fixed? Whew. Good troubleshooting, gang. We did it. Thank you for the help. All right, let's get all this canola moved into the factory now. Yeah, now we know how to cheat at any time if we need to. That's great. Cheating's fun. Okay, let's load all this into the uh, into the factory, and then it can uh, it can get uh, going, right? No, no, I'm not going to cheat anymore. Um, how about some? Oh yeah, here we go. You got you ready? change it up a little bit today god this is a load eh? No, we, we, we didn't uh, we didn't really 
we didn't really cheat. We haven't uh, we haven't gained anything by doing all the stuff that we've done. We've just sorted out a, an issue that would have been cheating. This now is actually using my resource to make oil, which is what we wanted, right? So now we really do need to plant canola because we are going to run out of seed, right? Yeah, we we're down 400 bucks. Exactly. We nerfed ourselves. Yeah, cheating would have been leaving the mill with unlimited canola. That would have been insane. So we don't want to build production too close to this silo because we could uh, we could wind up with the same issue, right? Yes, chef. Animal mud? On my farm? No, 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 no. No, no thanks. It seem like there's like, you know, crisscrossing tracks and stuff here, you know? I guess it wouldn't really go like that. I like the decoration stuff. I wish I was a bit better at it. Wet mud and water puddles. free i know it we we didn't really spend that much on it though it's fine just want to make it look like a bit more interesting you know like i i, I like decorating i like that get this planted. We need to do this today. 
We gotta roll the other field as well. Oh, I like that. We got like a little production area now. Maybe the maybe it's better that the uh, canola was was moved to where it is now. It's a little bit better. Takes a little getting used to this uh, this cedar. It's mainly just the width of it. It's it's a little bit hard to judge, but I get used to it. Why are we listening to Dutch morning breakfast music? Well, it's the morning and, you know, the Dutch have feelings too. Got to show some a little bit of respect every once in a while. Smoke a pancake, yeah. Is this what the, the Dutch listen to in the morning before they start their day? No wonder they're all such um, big gamers. Let's get me pumped too. It's making me play better than I've ever played before. Beats are sick. Have you ever heard beats this sick before in your life?
yesterday morning over breakfast. <laughs> Touche. This is the this is Al's uh, soundtrack. This is what he's listening to in the tractor when we put him to work. He's in there hot box in his tractor with vape clouds. But it's weed vape. I told him to get off the hard stuff, but he just won't listen. Favorite. I love that when they sampled it, the high pitched chipmunk voice. <laughs> All right, good. Seeding of the other field done in like record time. having a lot of difficulty reversing here. I think I could just straighten it out and do a, a straight reverse back. Probably be easier. There's a lot of turning space here. All right, I need the roller. job is to roll these fields. We have to save up for a cultivator. We need a better one than we currently have, right? Our current cultivator is too small. That was the next thing on the list to buy. on sale let me check uh, same stuff as yesterday nothing that we desperately need at the moment yeah we got the new plow the new plow is upgraded we can buy some more land soon I think we'll want to um, expand our chicken operations I think we we have some infrastructure now so we just need to harvest around it more so we want wheat and canola primarily right we could do with a, a couple more fields for each yes and we'll do we'll dot bees around as well we'll start getting some uh, some honey money in
Yeah, we're, we're partying pretty hard here right now. Baseline, yeah. This is so sick. This is sick as hell. Ah, there's like a like a sliver missing on the side, unfortunately. I might, uh, I might just do it and then square it off at the, um, at the angle, so I don't have to reverse all the way back like the AI would. Pump up the baseline. Uneven field edge triggers you. I know. Me too, but. We'll fix it, don't worry. Just rolling uh, the the pavement here as well. Might as well. I think um, I think while planks are backed up, do you think we should? I was thinking about this last night, as you do. Um, planks are all backed up, right? Oh no, they're still distributing. Okay, it's not full anymore. To furniture which is almost full. Okay, so I think what we can do for wood plank, since it's full, let's uh, change the output mode to storing, and then we'll just sell a bunch of them, right? And then we can use up the wood. Yeah, we will up the furniture when I can afford it, but for now, let's just do that, because I can still sell the excess planks, right? There's, it's still good money. And then we can just chop down some more trees. Yeah, I know I have money to upgrade it now, but I'm saving. I need a cultivator. Otherwise, that this field is going to take a... Uh, way too long to uh, to prepare for uh, to plant wheat I think if we sell the planks, um, the excess planks, we'll have uh, enough to get the cultivator in time for um, tomorrow. We need it. We need it by tomorrow. So we're going to harvest that field tomorrow. Am I worried that somebody might see me rolling? 
No, I'm not overly worried, but if they start hating on me, then um, I might need to turn some bodies cold. That's the my only concern. I, I like, um, I don't mind electronic music, but I really like those, like, sinister-ass beats, you know, like, uh, kind of like the ones that, you know, like, they always use on, like, Hitman, or I'd imagine, I haven't played Cyberpunk, but I imagine everywhere you go in Cyberpunk, they're listening to those sinister-ass techno beats. Know which ones I mean? My, my whole capacity for electronic music is just... Sinister Beats. Like, uh, like, yeah, like Hotline Miami kind of, like, like vampire music, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I'm describing it very well, but I know what I like. <laughs> Basically like vampire techno. Yeah, like Blade Club music and stuff, yeah. Like that, that, like the really hard stuff, you know? I don't, this, this kind of music doesn't do it for me. I always imagine somebody just working out at the gym listening to this. It's like, it's too light. You know what I mean? I want some vampire core in my life. Some sinister, some sick sinister stuff. Or some goodbye horses. Whichever one's available. Goodbye horses. Jeffland Vampire Remix win. It's gotta happen at some point. Let's be real. Be real. When this shit goes down, you better, better be ready. Look at all the... <laughs> okay. That's... There's some money. There's some money in those planks. We're, holy shit. We're getting a cultivator. Ladies and gents. It's about to happen. Gotta load all those bad boys up and sell them. Okay, now that we've output all that storage, I think we could go back to distributing. And then that'll go to the, to the furniture. It doesn't even need to. There are so many planks here still. The furniture just takes so long, I think. So we do need to upgrade it. All right, fine. Let's uh, store it for now. Store and sell the planks and then furniture. We can swap it back over to distributing um, when it starts running low on planks. <laughs> Warren G. Cultivate, yes. 
cultivators mount up we need to we need some uh, lyrics for that and uh, we need somebody we need to record somebody singing the new farming simulator 2022 remix to Warren G regulate but it'll be Warren G cultivate as somebody just said in the chat weird owl get wrecked he won't know what hit him Nate dog and Warren G had to cultivate it's like you're listening to the song right I hope I don't get DMCA for that Yeah, poor, poor Nate Dog. Such a unique fella. Just had a style all of his own. This sounds like music that you go to like the like the Moogle town in Final Fantasy for the first time and you're like, oh my god, they have their own town? And this is the music. You speak to the first person you find hoping to get some information about the location that you're in. And they just go, Kipo! <laughs> Kipo! Ay, 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 You're jealous of the control I have over these machines? I command them. I, I think it's just from I I, I still I, I'm still really bad at them, but I think I'm I'm getting a little bit better because uh, I've just done it so much, you know. I know this song. This is the Public Enemy sample. This is in the funk playlist normally, but it, it's now appearing in the. Uh, 1989 It's pretty bad when you start to recognize and enjoy songs on epidemic <laughs> I mean Like the entire Schlager playlist, for example. You know what? Yesterday when we ended, it was right before the best song on the whole Schlager playlist. You know the one. You know the one I'm talking about, right? You need it. I need it as well. We do need it. You're right. It's been too long. See, these uh, these little rocks that were missed, we're just rolling them back into the field. They just, they don't exist. The roller's getting them. It's, um, what is the name of this song? It's, 
this one? I got it in one. This is the one. God, I love it so much. If you're ever wondering, this song is called And Again by the Poindexters. Fantastic. Do, 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 do. So good. I want them to play this one at my funeral. Imagine that. Uh, imagine the procession coming out holding the casket. Everybody's wearing sunglasses and really vibing big time. And then Sea Shanty 2. I don't know about Sea Shanty 2, actually. So I feel it. So sea Shanty 2, I know they say, you know, separate the artist from the, the art and stuff, but... I, I just can't... I can't enjoy Sea Shanty 2 the same way I used to be able to. It feels dirty now. Wait, the author is dead? No, he's not dead. Wasn't he, uh, didn't he, wasn't he arrested for being a creep? Or did he die as well? Called no man's land but who am i buying plots from i'm buying them from god he with a capital h is the person selling the land i just pray hard and i buy what i need i put in the hard honest work oh he's jailed for assaulting a 13 year old there you go did he die in jail They meant his career is dead. All right, well, I mean, yeah. Go, go to jail for assaulting a child. To, uh, we might need to weed these fields, but that won't be until tomorrow. And that is something Al can uh, crack on with while we do the harvest, potentially. So these two fields are ready, and we're getting another canola harvest from them. Great. But it won't be for quite some time. Perfect! Good work. Whoops. Oh my god. That'll do. Mm. 
we got so many planks to sell. I'm so glad that we fixed the uh, the canola oil issue. I was worried about it. I'll um I'll take uh. I'll take this stuff while we've got it here, too. Might as well. So these these uh, water storage tanks do some weird, um, like, proximity sharing stuff as well, don't they? Similar to the silo. To be aware of some of that. So you don't want to... I guess storage, we'll have to make sure we keep storage really separate from production to avoid conflicts. We'll let the honey store up a little bit. I think we'll let eggs store up a little bit too. Really just planks. There's one thing of furniture. We'll take that on the next run too. We'll have more than enough planks to sell. We should have a bit of bread, I think. No, we have none. <laughs> it's so slow, the bread. Even though that's upgraded, it's still really slow. It makes sense to just sell this stuff. We have so much wood, and we can chop much more down, feed it into the sawmill, and then just... Uh, just load the furniture factory with what's, what's needed and sell the excess. And I think this is probably a good shout for other productions as well, right? Especially... Fuck! <laughs> Especially if we get into, like, sheep and stuff as well. I know all this farming has made me really strong. I should probably buy a forklift, honestly. We shouldn't really be using super strength like we are. But I'm so used to it now. The last time we played this and we had a we didn't have the uh, warehouse central warehouse mod but we had a central warehouse Dowie if you remember Dowie had the was managing all the uh, the stock the forklift 
He got really good at using the forklift too. Eh? It's like practice. Five K. It's pretty good. How much is the uh, cultivator? There is a um, olive um, harvester here. <laughs> it looks really silly. Look at it. <laughs> um, nice. Oh, it's not that expensive. This is the one that we wanted, right? Five point seven to eight meters. Three hundred and twenty horsepowers. nine miles an hour. It's about right for all of them. Alright, let's buy this. We have enough to upgrade furniture as well, but I think we should save up for another field. Doo -doo. got to upgrade it so that it gets the wide configuration. All right, I'll do that. I'll uh, repair this tractor fuel up on there too. Hey Oxcast, thanks so much for the raid. What's up raiders? We should probably upgrade the spread on our um, lime spreader as well might be a good one. <laughs> the Vector 570? So this one does 5.7. So it's 20 grand to get the uh, eight meter spread on this, which I think we will do. Needs 320 horsepower, it's fine. All right. This is going to be so great for cultivating. It'll be so much faster. Spread on it. Oh, 
All right, we can sell this little one now. We don't need to keep the little one. We get a little bit of money back for this thing. Do 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 do. Do I own a car trailer IRL? No, I do not. I wish I did though. Why don't I? Good question. I suppose I could. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grown-ass man. I can pretty much do what I want. Maybe I should just get a trailer. I don't even have to do anything specific with it. I just own it. Thank you, Cultivator. You've been so good. Thank you so much. God, I can't believe it. Incredible. 13 grand. Yes, please. That was the send-off um, for the, uh, the old cultivator. The infinite canola is fixed. It is no longer infinite. Honk. I can barely hear it. I can barely hear this honker. this up and let's reconfigure it as well let's get the let's upgrade it and get the, the better spread I don't know if this is no these, these are not vampire beats not the kind of vampire beats I would listen to capacity as well nice it's got pretty good capacity though 9,000 liters is, is really good really decent but the spread is not great 
Um, if we want to customize this to have a uh, bigger engine, it's 374 horsepower. We can go up to 417 horsepower for 21 grand. And we for 30 grand, we go up to 435 with power shift. And wheels. Wheel weights. Wide tires. Wide tires is only 2,000 bucks. Wide tires and weights. Do you want wide tires and weights? Twenty four grand for this. I don't think we need to upgrade the engine right now, but let's not do the engine, but let's go for a US design so that we have this look at we've got these cool like lights on the side. Cost nothing. Or do we want to leave it EU? The Iceria Pro Compact detects the real nitrogen demands of your crops. While driving with the sensor over your field, you'll get more precise information of the nitrogen that's required. Oh. It's 14 grand, though. Huge red. I mean, 374 horsepower is still very, very good, right? But we can go for the big tires with the weights. This is a six meter spreading unit. So this unfolds and then is just better. We can get the extension as well. The big extension. This will be 14,000 liters in here. The small extension upgrades it by, what, 2,000 liters? Just get the big extension, I guess. So this is 9,000 bucks. So we can go it can go up to 18 meters now whereas before it was only 12. Big Red's got some huge new tires. Whoops. With weights. The other bag seat. It's a, a seed bag. Oh, hang on, chat. I'll be right back. Left the engine running the whole time. Unbelievable. What is this song? This is crazy. Oh, it's better now it's got a little tarp. I know it's really dirty, but it has a tarp, so now all the lime won't just like pool up in a weird pool, you know? Pool, pool in a pool. It won't pool in a pool. It will not pool in a pool. <gasps> we've got our first... 
we got our first canola oil that we made with our own <coughs> production. Produit. Produits. Very nice. I gotta go chop some wood. Here we go. This uh, this is sounding like a really sick vampire beat. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely one. This is disgusting. Listen to this. happening to me? I don't know if I ever want to move this now. Oh. We need a trailer. We need a wood trailer for sure. <coughs> Be better to cut these up than rather than drag them like this. I think the winch we we hang on to the winch anyway, but I think getting a trailer would be really good. They're cheap too. Twenty two thousand liters of wood? Good. We are in great shift. God, that's a big field. Man, I can't wait to harvest it. We're harvesting it soon. Uh, we can skip the uh, the night and do... Uh, let's just make sure that everything is ready for a night skip. When I say skip the night, I mean we're just going to... Fast forward time and work through the night, loading up the uh, the thing, and then we uh, we do the um, harvest in the morning. Start preparing the field because we're gonna want to uh, not only um, harvest it tomorrow, a sorghum. We're gonna plant wheat all in the same day.
Yeah, we might need to weed as well, you're right. Nothing on sale. Thirteen thousand liters of flour. We still got a little bit of wheat left to process in there. Is there canola left? <coughs> oh, there's a little bit of canola left. Okay. Let me go dump this and then I'll grab some uh, wheat. Yep, that's the big plow. We'll be using it fairly soon. Buy some more land soon. I made these uh, too far apart to redo them. No tractor is that wide. <laughs> Very tight turn. Here you go, chickens. Have some wheat. Chicken's getting too old? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't know if the upgrade uh, factories mod works on the chickens. I can check. I didn't look actually. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Chicken coop. Unless you do it through, um... No. No, I don't think it does. There's no menu uh, option for it, it doesn't look like. Sound pretty nasty.
Do I take my eggs to the farmer's market in cartons that say farm fresh butt nuggets? No. No, I don't. Not, well, yeah, not yet. Yeah. There's still time. All right, we can skip the uh, skip through the night here and do our chores in the morning. We'll get a we'll get a load. Stop training. I wouldn't put this one on my my vampire beats playlist. Sounds too fruity for a hardcore vampire beat. The water seems to have evened out across both this time. I don't know what happened. It's harvesting time. It's time to harvest all that sorghum. It's 141 liters of honey. Fields. There is weeding to be done. There is harvesting to be done.
If you want some putrid beats, I recommend aim to heads stuff, sipsy. Aim's Only a few more decades to go till you're a billionaire. Yeah. Hey, Patty Cake, thanks so much for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Aim to head stuff. Is it, uh, it's, it, I'm, t I take it it's DMCA stuff. I couldn't listen to it on stream. I'll check it out, though. I like putrid beats. Thank you so much, Patty Cake. Twitch, thanks for the hundred bits on top as well. There's no straw for, uh, for sorghum. See? It's just wheat. Wheat, barley, and oats, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, we definitely need a new combine. We're gonna try to save up for a new combine this year. Get something that has a bit more oomph to it. Oomph. a couple of widthways down here and then we can leave Al to uh, to do the rest. And while Al 1 is doing this, Al 2 can start weeding. Yeah, the AI has a brother, yeah. They spend all winter just listening to techno in Al's basement. And vaping. Sounds nice, I know. I know. I'd be down. I'd be down for some of that. Wow, look at this field. This is a beauty. A fine field we've created here. No, I'm not Al's brother. I wish I was, though. I think that's probably enough, right? For Al to crack on and not uh, hit the edge of the uh, map.
need this. I need the weeder. All right, Al two. <laughs> Danny DeWido. I like that. I like that. All right, we got to go empty out Al one's grain tank. can mulch up with what's left after the sorghum for what does it do fertilize you need help you need tips on leveling the cattle pass oh um, what you got to do is um, all right here's a good a good tip for you for leveling your your cattle pass what you got to do is um, you got to place uh, an oil mill right next to um, a no man's land silo and you can basically get free infinite um, canola and uh, just wait for the profits to come rolling in and uh, forever you never need to harvest uh, canola ever again and that's that's the best way to level up your cattle pass Can you actually use the mulcher on the on this stuff? Oh, it's a 2.5% bonus on the next harvest. Oh, nice. So what, you mulch it and then... Does that mean if you mulch it, you don't have to cultivate it? Is it like a different uh, form of cultivating? Or you still need to cultivate. So you mulch it first and then cultivate it after. That's cool. Alright, we'll, we'll look to do that in the future for sure. Sounds great. I see two furniture. I think we got two full pallets of eggs, many planks, and probably quite a bit of bread as well. And don't let me forget about that canola. 
because there'll be a bit of that too. How many eggs do I consume? Oh, just the uh, the legal limit every time. I don't like to go over the limit. Do 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 do. to get rid of this lumpy, lumpy, jumpy bit here. It's a little lumpy and jumpy. the load by the way <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger trailer soon yeah Okay, AI worker D has apparently completed their task. I doubt it. An 18 wheeler to haul stuff? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need one. We we're definitely gonna need one. We need a, a we need a bigger harvester as well. These fields are huge.
What's the price of this right now? Sorghum. 521 in January. 336 right now. It's its lowest. We can just store it for now, I guess. There's no way that this guy has finished this. No, of course he had. That's a lot of sorghum. going the uh, the wrong way now but I think he'll be full up we're just gonna have to cheat a little drive through the crops <laughs> Yeah, we need one. Uh, we need one that has a pipe that can pivot the other way, as well. That would be really good. I think we can upgrade production on the sawmill with that mod as well, the factory upgrade mod. If we wanted to really blast through all the uh, the wood 
quickly. Jesus Christ. What a load. <laughs> That's a lot of shit. We got oil on here. We got eggs. Some honey buried in there somewhere. Flowers, mushrooms, bread, planks. This should be over 50, I would have thought. I think there's some furniture on here too, actually. Mulches can be used to crush the crocs, crop stubbles. This one's got a six meter spread. I think this is the best one. Six meter is not that big. Do we want to use this? Mulcher, we can, uh, apparently we can mulch up the uh, stubble left behind on the, um, on the uh, sorghum field and we can get an extra yield. Yeah, these ones are faster, right? Lower spread, but faster, faster movement. Should we get it? You want to get a Dalbo Maxi Cut 600? Why not? Yeah, sure. I'm down to try it out. We'll be able to use it for other stuff too, right? started over here.
All right, let's mulch this sorghum and see what happens. So you mulch first and then we um, cultivate after. Mulched. Neat. That's cool. So it's mulching. Oh yeah, it's mulching. Uh, the machine was not as expensive as I figured it would be so we can uh, we can get some extra yield I guess for the wheat I think mulching just leaves like some plant matter on top of the field and then when you cultivate it it just mixes in with the soil and probably increases the um, the yield for like the next crop that goes in good old sorghum eh Don't work, Al Worker F. I got you. I don't think he's mulched like the very end because the um, because of the map limit. I'll have to probably go do a um, a bit at the end. I can barely pull this. <laughs> I 
No, I haven't watched any uh, any Clarkson's farm. Sorry if people are being shitty with you about it. We talked about it yesterday. But no, I haven't seen it. I, I don't like Jeremy Clarkson, so I, I haven't watched it. I know, I keep hearing that it's really good and that people like it, but I, I just really don't like Jeremy Clarkson a lot. Do you think I'll like the show? Uh, can you? Is it possible to see past Clarkson and enjoy the show? Yeah. All right, I'll give it a try then. I'll try it out. See, see how it goes. Do you like Clarkson and love the show? Oh, there's other people in it? Oh, that's alright then. I'm always weary of Clarkson because I hate his opinions. And he's, he's the type of person that just can't fucking help himself either. He's just incapable of chilling he keeps getting hurt oh my god okay maybe I should watch it then it sounds great The head of security at his farm is fucking amazing. Somebody was I was talking to somebody, apparently they they were saying that they live pretty close to like where it's filmed. Like I suppose it would be. It's, it is just a farm, but it's surprisingly like just hey it's there, it's accessible. Locals hate him. <laughs> really? Oh, man. Jeremy Clarkson said I'm his favorite Minecrafter? Well... Say what you want about Clarkson, at least he's got decent taste in Minecraft Let's Plays. something new to watch we finished the bear we watched the latest series of the Met we watched the last one yesterday survivors all done married at first sight's all done I need something I need something new boiling point ah oh, yeah good show we'll watch that we were just looking at it the other day actually I don't 
a second. I just gotta check this. is going to take forever. I don't think that... I think that's the biggest mulcher we can get. I mean, it's okay. There's still lots of time left in the day. Um, how's this guy doing? Not well. <laughs> By the looks of it. They hate the... Uh, they hate these... They hate where the field uh, goes diagonal. You just got to help them over the, the hump. to watch Fargo. There's lots of seasons of it. There's lots and lots of Fargo. Some of it's pretty good and some of it's not as as good, but first season was really good. Second season was pretty good if I remember right. Second season. Second season, the one with Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, the second season was good. Third season was a bit weird. Third season was with the weird farm family, right? And there was a lot of uh, emphasis on the uh, like the, the gang from Kentucky or whatever. <clears throat> it wasn't bad though. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Four, uh, fourth season I, ne I didn't watch. Fourth season is the one where Ewan McGregor plays two characters, right? And Billy Bob Thornton's in it as well. I, I couldn't get... We tried watching it twice and just could not get into it. Oh, the UN1 is three. Are you sure? <coughs> oh, fourth season's Chris Rock. Is the Kirsten Dunst season uh, the one with the with the with the uh, weird family, the farm family? I thought that was a separate season. I done my Steam year review on the store page? No, I haven't. Oh, season three is the one with you. Okay, so well, season three then we couldn't, couldn't get into. And season four has Chris Rock. And now season five is out too. Where do you watch um, Fargo? Is it on Netflix? It was on Netflix for a while, but I don't know if it's still... Is it is it Prime now or something? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's all on Prime. Okay. Season 5 is awesome. Okay. I might get back into it. I don't know. guy is <laughs> this, this guy is oh I see what he's doing he can't uh, he can't navigate like the very edge there but 
there's just like one line to do basically when he's all done. Ah, fair enough, that's fine. We need another tractor. I think we're saving now. Either we want to get, we, I think we want to get a new field first and prepare it and then chuck it into the fold with the other ones. And then I think we're saving for a harvester or hoping that we get one second hand because this one is, it's been good. But um, we could really do with getting an upgrade, right? I don't think we need to go for like the, the big one. Yet, I think we can get something like in the interim. Am I still renovating the attic? Uh, we're, we're thinking about it. Yeah, it's not. I haven't actually done anything with it yet it'd be good to use the space for something more than just uh, nothing like it's being used for now it won't flood up there yeah at least I think so unless there's like some cataclysmic world event in which my attic does flood. But then I don't think anybody's really going to be around to worry about it too much. Yeah, if my attic flooded, I would have way uh, bigger issues to contend with. I wouldn't be too worried about flooding in the attic. Have you ever watched anybody um, build houses on The Sims 4? You know, like, they do, like, speed builds sometimes, where they're, like, they build really nice houses. Fuck, it's insane. The tools are, when people get really good with them, it's, it's really something else. Yeah, yeah, my, the ceilings in the attic's high enough to, to stand up in. I mean, past a certain point. But then you, you have dormers where the um, where you need uh, headroom and there's a slant in the roof, right? I don't think there's another full load from this field. But we've gotten, what, two, three full loads already? This is the fourth? It's a big harvest, holy shit. Alley worker G is blocked by an object. A foreign object. Yeah, I know Duckers. I can't, I, I can't play any. Well, I mean, I could play like different a different genre, I guess. I don't know, it's like a, it's epidemic sound, and it's electronic, the electronic genre. Yeah, I didn't make this music, Duckers, like, maybe you take it up with the people that made it.
You want to listen to um, teen pop, electro pop, euro pop? Is it euro pop time? You want to listen to some some Greek music? George Prokopiou. Yeah, it's like workers and resources music. Nah, there's no sea shanties that I know of on there, sadly. I love this. This is great music. to the refinery? Which one? Oil. Oh, we fixed it. We 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 figured it out. It was uh it, it was it was the proximity to the um no man's land silo that was just It looked like it was inheriting the uh, total storage space of the si of the silo and then also um, taking into account the amount of canola that was in the silo but it looked like it didn't have access to changing the amounts of canola in the silo so it was just uh, infinitely producing oil without using any resources Uh, so we just moved it. We moved the the factory over behind the bakery, and it seems fine now. We put all the uh, all the canola in there, and it seemed all right. Is there anything in here? It's empty. Nice. Okay. No, no, it was not not cheating. We fixed it. It was gonna, it it was developing into major cheating, but we fixed it. No, I don't think it's a run restart situation. It was close though. It was pretty close. It's like magic. Alright, this guy... This guy can go rest now for a year.
All right, total harvest. 65,000 liters. It's pretty good. That's like three full trailers of this and a bit. So we can hold on to it and sell it when the price is a bit better. Or um, we could um, just feed it to chickens. It was kind of a bonus uh, crop anyway. It just happened that we had time to plant it in that new field. <laughs> Feed it all to one chicken. Don't tempt me. Yeah, more chicken coops would be really nice, actually. I, don't know, I think we can get some sheep. Wool. Seems like we could make some decent money off of wool. Good. Weeding is almost done. done. All right, we'll let him do this last line here and then we'll uh, we'll do the the edge bit. I think I need to maybe replan some of the uh, the access to <laughs> these fields. It's a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass having to go all the way around here. But I guess this is just really slow too. Better harvester will have more speed, right? <gasps> I got tea. Oh, thank you so much. Is it? Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Gasping. All right, another job complete, chat. The warehouses, uh, sorry, the greenhouses, I should say, are full. It's like flowers you can pick up without having to use super strength or any mods or anything. The mushrooms, you cannot. So I'm having to super strength it. All right, 
Uh, next up. Oh, nice. He just, like, didn't do this side. And then was doing his big backwards move. Nice. Well, we bought a mulcher. We bought a mulcher and and some mulching was done. We mulched up this whole field. So we should get some more um, more yield. So we're also, we're, we're not only preparing this field, but we're planting today as well, right? We want to plant um, wheat. When I start getting bored of farming soon, can I order a $500 steering wheel and leave it on the floor to be destroyed in a flood? Okay, let me tell you something, Dowie. That steering wheel that got destroyed in the flood did not cost $500. I guarantee you it did not. It was the one that they sent me for that, um, the driving, it was like, it was like 30 bucks. <laughs> it, it, it honestly was not a great steering wheel. If I had a $500 steering wheel that got destroyed in a flood, you would have heard about it. I would have been... I would have been so mad. But no. That... I was not so sad about. I need another shed. It's time to use our new toy. It's time to get this thing dirty. our new cultivator we got it just in time for this job which is going to take some time probably <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, the rock, the rock crusher cultivates. Um, really, the rock crusher, you want it for new fields. Not so much for um, previously uh, loved fields. See this? See, we've just cultivated uh, a line of this one. The stones are just small, so we can roll those in. But when you plow a new field, the stones are large and can't be rolled in, and that's when you want to uh, use the uh, the rock um, collector because then it also cultivates at the same time. You might get redstones after cultivating if you use a, um, a shallow cult cultivator. If you use one of the the other ones, you might get redstones. But if you use uh, just a normal cultivator, you should only get the yellow stones. Yeah, don't eat the yellow stones if you can help it. That would be very bad. Okay, I think that's enough um, turn space for um, Al. Al can crack on with this now. of planks still quite a bit of canola left as well that's good chickens are in good shape bark 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 did you know you could go in here and uh, and do stuff Fuck, 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like a nightmare in here. I can't close the door now? <laughs> what are these? What are these? We got this cool building and uh, I've never even looked at it. Can you go on this one too? No. Interactive. Not, 
there's been nothing new on sale for quite some time now. If we had another big uh, tractor, that would be really good, wouldn't it? Because then while this was happening, we could be seeding right behind. John Deere. thinking need to cultivate more crows Do I remember the the make and model of my current mic? It's a Shure XLR. Do you have a mic? What kind of headset do you have, Dowie? You got a, st a Steel Series headset, Dowie? Are you wearing it right now? So you can hear the music. And nothing else. Dowie, that's disgusting. Joey's been wearing his headset and gaming gloves for weeks now. He's been waiting to be the warehouse manager. 
that way we were just talking about how you used to do all the forklifting in the warehouse last time we played, if you remember. I'm sure it was you, Dowie. Good times, good times. Did I rage quit 19? I don't remember rage quitting. I think we probably just stopped playing, but... 19 we had the server for, right? And we were doing all the silage and stuff? It was 19, um, the horse rescue as well at the castle? Must have been, right? I don't think we played farming sim before 19. Oh, I hunt. Yeah, I rage quit because. Yeah, that's. I remember that actually. I, that was so annoying. Anytime somebody would join the game, the game would pause for like 10 minutes. Did they fix that? Is that still a thing? Yeah, I did rage quit in that case. That was really fucking annoying, though. It's a shame. It was fine if if people were on and they just stayed on, but we had tons of people coming and going all the time, if you remember. And it was just like half the stream was just waiting for the server to catch up. The the uh, the logging setup on that one was incredible too, wasn't it? Remember we had like that whole area and we just trees growing. We had like two scorpion kings. Yeah, it was fun. That was good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were we were passing money in between the uh, farms because the logging guys made so much money. In the end, silage made a, a little bit of money, but it just took so long to get it up and running. Wasn't there like a limit on how much money the silage guys could make in a day? Like the like the biogas thing had like a a hard cutoff. I guess you can probably mod your way around that now. And maybe we could have even back then. Well, I think getting this cultivator was, uh, was the buy for sure. Because uh, using the other cultivator we had, this would uh, have taken so much longer. Oh, 
Oh, you plop down a new biogas plant and that would have a new limit? Yeah, I think when we were playing 19, we were, well, or I was at the time, I liked the idea of just buying up everything on the map. But yeah, I suppose in this one, we'd have to build our own. That's it for the Greek music. It's done. How about some uh, Irish music? We're on a world tour here. Yeah, the Greek, that's it. That's the whole Greek music playlist. It's done. It's a short one. The, this Irish one's really short too. It's like six songs or something. Kentucky music. Is, uh, is Kentucky like a, like a country music place or not really? Bluegrass. Oh, okay. Like, um... What's that band? The, um... I want to say the Olsen Twins, but I know that's not a band. Is it the... The, uh... What is it like? The... The Brothers? What's that one? Brothers? Not Alanis Morissette, no. It's like, uh... Mumford and Sons, that's the one. <laughs> How did you know that's what I was thinking of? I said brothers, it was, I was like nowhere near. No, not Hanson, not those brothers. Well, it's like two brothers and a sister in Hanson, right? Or is it four? I can't remember. Three Mormon brothers. Were they actual Mormons? No, they weren't Mormons, were they? Alright, this Irish music is too slow for me. How about, um, the Balkans? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. This, this is music to shit in a field, too. Like, you could just imagine Borat shitting in a field with this playing in the background, right? Like, nothing, I'm just remarking. If Borat would shit without the music, you're right, he would. He, he's, a, he's a certified shitter. He would shit. My bad. I didn't measure the field when I planted it, when I created it. I should have measured around my equipment. That would have made more sense, right?
Um, how about some, um, there's some, uh, Scandinavia, Middle Eastern, Mexico, Korea, Japan, Ireland, India, Greece, African continent? How about some soul? No, oh, no, the Irish music was way slower than this. That that Irish song, man, maybe the rest of it was good, but that that one song was a, like a bit of a slog. You'll do a tier 2 sub to Giso if I play Europop? Fuck, hang on a second, where is it? Europop, Europop, Europop. I've done it. This is really delivering on all levels already. This is actually Europop, yeah, this is Europop. I hope Duckers doesn't get too angry. If it's not stained, Duckers doesn't want to know. <laughs> Duckers, are you a fan? Big Stain fan? Okay, the cultivator has been broken in. We broke in the cultivator. It's all dirty. Test out the new, newly upgraded lime spreader. I think this is fine. misjudged. It's my first time using it with the new spread. It's actually not a bad size. I think it's more like maybe here. That looks alright.
missing a line. It's okay. It'll get spread around. <laughs> this is jock jams? No, no, it's not this it's not uh it's not Gary Glitter enough for jock jams. Um, Gary Glitter, I think, is in jail. I'm not sure. I don't have a, um... I don't have a tracking device on him. I'm not entirely sure where he is, but I'm pretty sure he's in jail. He must be, right? I think, um... The last I heard, he got out of jail and was out of jail for, like, five minutes and uh, was immediately caught accessing stuff on the dark web and then was locked up again. I don't know if that's actually true, but I remember hearing something like that. If I don't have the tracker, then who does? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully Batman. Ask him he's in the cell right next to you? That's weird. It's a really weird thing to say. Wiki says he's in jail. Good. Hopefully he stays in jail forever. I think that's the best place for him. Hey, where's that tier 2 sub? I don't see it.
Oh, you got it. Oh, weird. It didn't come up. It's just not in my feed. Thanks, Viodun. I hope you're enjoying <laughs> Europop. He's sub to you? What? He tier 2 sub to you? That wasn't the deal. He said he was going to gift you a tier 2 sub to, to me. That is a huge scam. Merry Christmas, I guess. Go on. And what's worse now, I love Europop. This is the worst day of my life. Yeah, we got we upgraded the uh, the lime spreader. It's got a it's got a bigger spread, and uh, we upgraded the capacity as well, so it can hold more lime, more lime than ever before. you use the money to buy food instead of Ferraris like me? Well, you're doing it wrong, Giso. A real streamer would uh, would uh, buy a Ferrari and uh, carry on eating um, pot noodles and pedigree chump full time. If you ever want to be a real streamer, you got to get with the program. You're gonna sell all the food in your fridge? How much food are we talking here? Two packages of deli meat and cheese? Jesus. I am interested. Yeah, what kind of price are we talking here? How much for one package of deli meat? One tier three sub worth of deli meat? I could be interested. I could be very interested. I think in the in the spirit of the season, Vio done, you should also do a, a tier two give sub to me as well. Giso doesn't. Giso's got enough food to last him for a whole year. You didn't need to sub to him. He's got two packages of deli meat and cheese in his fridge. What more could you need or want? He doesn't even have any kids that I know of, or maybe that he knows of.
Ooh. I'm putting my limer back. Uh, what's next? Now that it's limed, I think we're going wheat, right? In this uh, this field, and wheat is definitely September. Yeah, wheat. Make some more uh, flour and feed the chickens some more next year. Great. I think I have enough resources for this. We'll see. No, it does not need to be these stone. We can roll these stones back in. Their yellow stones are rollable. We will roll them back in. Because we used um, a non-shallow cultivator, it's fine. Yeah, we've used the new plow. It's not our first uh, time using it right now. It's great. It's so fast. And it fertilizes at the same time, too, which is great. This is a big field. Uh, we might need to weed this uh, tomorrow, but that is definitely an owl job. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I have planted the wrong crop here. Is it too late to uh, to replant it? I forgot to change the seed. Can I go over it? All right, I'll try going over it. Yes, cannolis. Thank you for pointing it out. Imagine we did the whole field with it. like it's updating. No, it's definitely not seeding over, is it? So we're going to have to... Um, yeah, the seeder is definitely on. I think we're going to have to cultivate over it again. up to here. Sorry. Send Al out there? I should send Al out there. I should send him out there. Send him out here to fix it.
Whoa. Whoa. You know what? Let me line up here and then I'll just reverse and it'll be fine. I gotta, I gotta uh, recultivate this small part because uh, I planted the wrong uh, seed. No, I don't think I need to resalt the uh, field after. I think it's, I think that's fine. Yeah, no, the pH is fine. Actually, don't, I think cultivating over top of the uh, the lime doesn't really matter either. But just in case, I'll try not to do it too much. Yeah, I did get a little bit distracted thinking of Giso's um, deli meats and two packages of deli meats in his fridge. I won't lie. It's on my mind. There's some orange stones in there from too much cultivating. Night night, Christmas crustacean. It's only a couple. We'll have to get them out before we seed though. Actually, I don't know what's going on with the school run today.
I am hungry. Alright, let me pick up these orange stones out of here and then um, carry on seeding. It is a little bit early for my lunch, yeah. Well, I, I try to coincide it with um, doing um, the school pickup, because then it... But I mean, I was away before as well. I can't help it, chat. I'm sorry. God, this is, it's so much work correcting uh, a small mistake, isn't it? Let's try not to ever make a mistake again. Agreed. trick is to never try good point actually that is a good point that's a great point that's a great point got a hot pasta lunch mm. stones and then we'll roll all the yellow stones into the uh, back into the field hello stone Now imagine I had to do this for the whole field. Well, I wouldn't though. Al would do it, and we have done it for the whole field. We did it for the whole field um, when we when we first plowed it. I know there's rocks in there. We'll, we'll empty it before we next use it. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Let's restart. Do you think I can trust um, Al to do this while I'm uh, eating pasta? I'll go eat quick while he's doing it. I feel like Al could do this. Pay the guy more money? No, he doesn't need more. He's fine. Okay, chat. Al's gonna do it. I'll be right back. Two seconds.
I have been on a cruise for two weeks and I've missed you so much dad.
Yes, Al. Look at him go. Come on. Come on. Shatom. Thank you so much for the 1337. I've been on a cruise for two weeks and I've missed you so much, Dad. Welcome back. Look at this. He's done it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, the glory. It looks like we had just enough uh, resources for this too. It's good. Tea? No, I didn't get tea. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Um, I actually have to cover for the uh, the school run as well. It was just a, a bit of a an odd uh, pasta is is ready right now, and if you want to eat it while it's hot, you gotta eat it. So I did. Obviously, um, but I still have to cover it uh, just before three. I won't be long though. I'll try not to be. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Needs rolling. Needs rolling. All right, this is going to be a really big weed harvest um, in uh, in a year's time. <laughs> Go 80 miles per hour in the school zone? Okay, I will. Don't worry. Did you guys enjoy uh, Europop while I was gone? You did, didn't you? I came back and you were all smiling and gently nodding your heads. I, and I knew at that point that... You'd been captivated by the Europop. It's okay, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's music that's enjoyed by millions across all of uh, continental Europe. Oh shit, I just ran out of fertilizer. I can't believe it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need to, uh, to stock up on this stuff anyway, I suppose, right? Just get a couple of bags. I'll get six. And uh, I'll get some seeds too, actually. Ha! <laughs> what a turn. Now this is the kind of Euro pop I was hoping for. Sorry, fertilizer bags. You're not allowed to come with me. All right, that's a big full load on the cedar. Very nice. We'll cut down all these trees when we buy this field. We'll cut down all those ones too. 
We need the logging trailer for that. Job done. We just gotta roll this field now. Is that just a tire skip? Yeah, it is. Okay. Job's done. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting during the school run, waiting for my streamer to return. Can't believe I didn't bring tea. I might bring some um, during my next little uh, little break, though. You never know. Who knows? It just depends on how I feel. God, my next little break is going to be great. I, Because I've already eaten my lunch. Man, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and fart around on my phone a bit and stuff. God, it's going to be incredible. All right. Good. Okay, growing. Uh, gr everything's growing. Uh, we just need to roll this field. make sure that we have water, wood, wheat, flour, planks. Great. Production is all running at 100% right now. Just a bit. Wash it. Yeah, we need to get a uh, yeah. power washer for the shed. I I don't think the AI uh, handles rolling very well, unfortunately. It's not a trust issue. I just just don't think they can do it. All right, this is great. All the stones are getting rolled back in here. We don't want them to get too much sun and grow into huge stones.
Uh, Giso, you're right. There are a lot of songs on here about waiting. It's like that queuing culture. Nobody in Europe is actually waiting because none of them queue properly anyway. They all think they're the chosen one who doesn't need to actually queue. Oh, look at all those people queuing. Ha 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 ha. I don't queue. Goes to the front of the line. We gotta do this field this this way at, at the bottom here because you need turning space because this the border of this field is right on the edge of the map and uh, basically right at the end of the field there is an invisible wall that you just crash into. Night night, Lady Vampire Tanya. Just checking to see that that wasn't an orange or red rock, it's not. I think it was just out of range of the roller. Great. We're getting there.
It's a big field. There is a bigger roller that we can get. I think this one's fine, no, honestly. It's not so bad. song just playing three times in a row it's got different vocal remixes Paying wages? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm implying they sound the same because they it is the same song. really proud of that song do you have any of the any remixes of this song in your fridge Giso? <laughs> so that it doesn't spoil you had to put that shit on ice. I can't take it anymore. I have to listen to the best genre. Even if it's just for a little bit before I go on another little break. That's not 200 gift subs to you, Giso. I'm still waiting for my tier 2 sub. I just listened to like an hour of Europop for nothing. Gotta cleanse my palate a little. Music for organizing your mugs. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that 
That's funny. <laughs> I would totally organize my mugs to this music. What do I look for in a good mug? I like to, uh, I like there to be something funny written on it so I can laugh. Uh, maybe like a cool picture, um, like an artistic picture. It's got to have a good big handle for my big sausage fingers to, to fit into so I can really properly like, you know, hold on to the handle. Not one of those like little, um, like those, those little espresso cups with the really tiny handles that you can't even do anything with. I like this music too. It'd be good if there's more songs, but what what can you do? What can you do? going to have a lot of wheat growing here. We also mulched up the sorghum, which is uh, which should help get a, a little bit more bang for our buck out of this field. Well, we're heading into winter. I think we'll do a lot of uh, forestry this winter. We might not uh, time lapse so much because we, we do have some quite large areas to clear. Um, but I think we'll turn all the wood into planks. I think it makes more sense to do that, right? Just We'll just load up the sawmill like crazy. We'll probably buy a trailer. Nah, we're not getting the Scorpion King. It's too expensive. I can't afford it. Eventually, we'll get it, though. I feel like that would uh, be a huge milestone on this farm to get one of those bad boys. They're so much fun to use.
Okay, so there should not be any stones left in here. Oh, I missed a couple of little lines there, but it's fine. Yeah, the canola factory thing is uh, is resolved, yeah. We did it first thing. We figured out... I We think we figured out what was wrong with it, and... We, we had to uh, cheat some money back in because we spent a bit of money demolishing it and re rebuilding it and stuff. But we, basically, we moved it over um, there. See, it's like next to that tree line. It was by the shed. We think it was too close to the um, no man's land silos and it was causing a conflict. But now it's, um, it's using canola that we harvested it, it, it's not it doesn't have an infinite supply rolling complete I think the fields are fine. We might have to weed that field tomorrow, but... I mean, that's definitely an owl job. Let's get these things filled up. I think it needs a, a top up this and then we can we can do a uh, a speed cycle I think um, what we'll do is uh, we won't take like a massive massive load there's some stuff we'll just leave right honey will leave 
Um, we'll just get the stuff that's actually piling up. You know? I think eggs and stuff are fine. Yeah, there's not even... Uh, well, there will be after, but... There's one bread. There's lots of... So we'll take planks. We'll take... Um, I wonder how much canola oil there is. There's a little bit. We'll probably take canola oil as well. Let's put it in here. Why don't I make a giant feedlot? Um, I don't know. I'm not quite there yet. I will. I'll do stuff like that, probably. Makes sense, I guess. See, we want to get um, other animals, or we're going to need to start planting some, uh, some grass. There's nothing for sale. Why don't I just build a space? Oh, I mean, I could. Dowie. Maybe that's what I, I'll start working on next. Make sure that the fields are all okay, actually. Yeah, they are. Mulched needs rolling. Growth, good. Crop types, wheat and canola. Looking fine. Okay, so we're good to go to the uh, next month. We managed to plant the wheat just in time. I'll just, uh, I, I just load the truck at night. I feel like it's fine to just load it up at night. And then skip through to the morning when it's light out, and then if there's field stuff, to, I'd rather do the field stuff during the daylight. It's annoying doing it at night, the lights on. There's still quite a bit of water in the, uh, and then we can see what uh, what needs to be done today and start doing some we're probably going to cut down quite a few trees starting today through the throughout the winter start on that. He should not have a problem weeding this field. So it's square. There's no weird slants or anything in it. He should just be able to do it. That's a lot of weed, you're right, yeah. And overnight, too. Crazy. Yeah, we extended the uh, water storage for the uh, greenhouses yesterday. We were, we were messing around with it a bit.
All right. Perfect. Chat. Let me fill these greenhouses up, and then I will go and uh, do the school run quick. And when I get back, we'll carry on. Yeah, we did. Look, see the uh, the expanders are right there, next to both of the uh, the greenhouses. There's one next to each one. No, I'm not ending the stream. No, I'll. I, it's not a. It's not a long school run. It's just like I'll just be like five minutes. Okay, I'll be right back, chat. Two minutes. Some tea. Elvis? Oh my god, he has almost finished all of the weeding. I can't believe it. Ow. That's amazing. I'll just swoop in here and finish it off for him, because I... I can see that he's left a little bit at the edge. Ooh. He doesn't quite know how to navigate this last bit. Bless him. I love Zui. I think you're right. He loves Zui. Welcome back, Sipsy. You missed some real bangers. Hey, uh, fru, fru kartoffel, and thank you so much for the thousand bits. Oh, don't worry. I am very aware of the bangers. And whilst I'm sad I missed them, I've heard them all millions of times. All right. Weeding of the big field complete. That's a, a nice job to get out of the way. Right. While it's daytime... We'll make sure that all of our production is topped up, and then we will go and start cutting down some trees. Uh, we need to deliver a big load as well. Once we deliver a big load, I say we buy this uh, other parcel of land, right? So we can start tidying up and maybe get another field going. Get another field going for... I don't even know what. Oh yeah, I should have had you on AI camp. Sorry, I forgot. Alright, there's no more jobs for the Valtra to do at the moment. Get these topped up. I think we're good for... We might have to feed the chickens today, actually. I think we want to deliver this stuff and uh, probably planks, right? The other stuff we can uh, we can get on the next load because this is already a huge load of stuff. Fifty-seven into a giant super field uh there's a the rock in the way though and i kind of like the shape of the field we'll see what's in between i think it's sandy loam in between 
some eggs, some furniture. Some of this stuff will just move out. Oh, bread we might want to deliver today too. There's so many planks. next time. <clears throat> Come back and grab some of this stuff. Next time, I think. Oh, I should check the canola oil, too. Why is the bread just loose? I don't know, maybe it's so freshly baked that it would melt the plastic? I don't know. We could probably let this uh, this accumulate, but we don't have to. We can just sell all this, and then we'll get a logging trailer, I think. It's a pretty, it's a, not a bad load, yeah, you're right, it's a, it's a good one. Fifty six K? I don't know if it'll be quite fifty six. Fifty six is a, is on the higher end for us. I reckon this will be about forty. I was wrong. It's about 52. 52 is not as nice. It's a big load. Holy crap. Let's come back for that trailer. Oh, let's see what's on sale, actually. Ooh. Oh, that's such a good price for a, for a Big Mac truck, isn't it? Maybe it's time to um, pick up one of these. We kind of need one, don't we? And then we can get a, a, a much bigger trailer. You want to get a super liner six by four? usually a hundred and ten thousand it does 500 horsepowers I think all of these do the most expensive one is 137 I guess we're gonna get this I mean we need one anyway it's half price yeah Oh my god, this thing's incredible. We, do we want to get this as well? 
This bad boy opens up at the side, right? Listen to the horn on this, ready? Oh, you got to do it from in here. Uh, fasten curtain left front. Curtain left back. Open curtain side. Come on. That's so good. Oh, look at all the space. There's so much space. should just like uh, not take all the, just like load all this stuff in here and just take it all with the next like flower mushroom uh, shipment. Stack three high in here? Oh yeah, I can. That's so good. All right, planks and stuff aren't ready yet. I did pick up the eggs, didn't I? All 
All right, let's reconfigure this uh, this trailer. Reconfigure a cell? I can't remember how much um, space this holds. We might sell it, actually. Because then if we sell it, we can get the, uh, we can get the, uh, the, the log trailer with the arm. Um, customize. So, standard. It's, it's a big one. It can hold, uh, 22 and a half thousand liters. With the extension, it can hold 34,000 liters, which I think we should go for. And we'll have to empty it less, and then we can just sell the other one, right? We'll sell the, uh, the, the, the green one. Yeah. This is much bigger than the other one, yeah. The other one with extension is 22,000 um, liters. This one with extension is 34,000. And it's red. Matches the tractor. Yeah, well, it, it's red, so it's not only can it hold more, but it's it's probably faster too. It's <laughs> a nice little shortcut, actually. <laughs> when we buy fifty-seven, we can uh, we can we can put in a nice shortcut there. It's a shortcut until you get to this uh, this part of the farm, and it's not so much of a shortcut. There's no direct route through. Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna sell this uh this uh little guy here. Yeah, he's. This is good, man. This was uh, this was such a good um, trailer, wasn't it? It was nice and cheap. I think we even got it second hand. Just did the job, you know. Uh, it's time to go. So long. 10,000 bucks? Yeah. It's 19,000 for this one. What's the difference? 
This is the one that we were using before, and it was fine, wasn't it? We leased it, if you remember. Timber Runner is the one that we want for when we have a Scorpion King. But this one we want... I mean, this one... I, I guess this one's better. I don't know. Maybe it can just... The claw is better or something? I don't know. 45k. <coughs> Bigger is better. It must be, yeah. I think I'm going to buy this. Or should I um, sell that load and buy the, the bigger one? 45k? What's the length of this? Looks like 5 meters, maybe? This extends out to 25 meters. Get the monster one? I have no way of loading stuff into this one. It has no arm. This one is for the big boy. Um... Oh, there's this one here too. What's, it? What's this? Yeah, you gotta cut them into like five meter segments basically. This one's a little bit more open. It doesn't have an arm though. What does this do? What the fuck am I looking at right now? What is this? Was it like a clothesline? Oh, it drags... It drags, um... Logs, I see. Yeah, the premium... The premium thing is like, it's all forestry stuff, pretty much. This is a chipper. Breaks trunks into chips, apparently. Do you, know, I, do you know what? We're fine with this. We used this before, and it's absolutely fine. We can really load a lot of stuff onto this, right? This this doesn't give us much more, I don't think. What's the difference between these two, apart from price? No, there's no there's no longer version with an arm. Uh, forestry equipment. There's a there's a, a truck with an arm built in, but it's the same sort of thing. It's this just the trailer with like a little tractor attached to the front of it. What does this do? Holy crap. I don't even know. What do we want? The Ponzi Cobra? Or this? This does the same. The Kamatsu? like half a million and there's this one as well yeah these are all great aren't they 180 grand for this one this one's got a little arm the the actual trailer looks a little bit longer i don't know Grab this one. We know this one works and it 
pretty much do what we need it to do. We don't have to winch stuff. It just means we'll have to cut the logs, but it's fine. We can cut them up. Just start clearing some of these out of here. I can put the uh, winch on the on the front of the uh, tractor. Actually, that might be useful just for moving stuff out of the way and whatnot. Right? Good thing we don't have crop destruction on. Not that I, I don't know if it would destroy this crop at this growth stage. Actually. See what I'm doing. Now I can. Now I can. I forgot to check this field. We made 452 bucks off the harvest there. And we've made 26,614 from these fields. And we've made 4,792 bucks from these ones, apparently. I don't know if that's correct. Maybe it's not. No liquid fertilizer, but we've got mineral fertilizer and lime. We got seeds, we got no herbicide, fuel, good, good. are huge. These trees are too big. We can lift up this end bit though.
Do I cut them at five meters? How long is this bit? Oh, I can't even cut this bit. I think this is just meant to be like the... Like the cast off bit. Start picking some of these up. Actually, let me cut this one first, too. It is just a lot quicker to pull it all with the winch, right? I'd have the, I'd, I'd probably have all three of these pulled over and processed by now already. <laughs> so annoying. I mean, doing it this way, though, we should probably turn it all into planks, but we could just sell wood straight up, too, right? It's funny. We get a bit of money. Quite a bit of money. I can't remember how to use this thing. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Logs are maybe too heavy. Yes. <laughs> one, one log complete. Very good. I'll strap it on. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. I'll get I'll get better at using this thing though. I, I was I was getting pretty good at using it before when we used it, but it's just been a little while. No problem, see? See what I mean? I think five meter segments is, is the way to go. a bit. Hang on. Okay. I think the base bit is too heavy though. We'll see. Um, still. Oh no, that's fine. I got two. Oh, I should have cut this bit to size, actually. I didn't. Where is it? There we go. I, I don't... I. I think maybe the winch is just fast, a lot faster. <laughs> I thought maybe this would be, I, I think if we're gonna do like mega tree, tree clearing, we just want the big machine, right? And then the, the big log trailer as well. Just cut them to size and, and chuck them right in like we used to.
mess Uh, so the winch? <laughs> I did it. Yes. Stay on target. Yeah. Yes, chef. That's better.
the hell? <laughs> it almost went off. Alright, that was way better than the first load. Holy shit. That was so much better. Is. I mean, it, it's quite handy having this for, like, the small trees and stuff. I still think for tidying up it'll probably be a bit better. But for big trees, we can, we can definitely winch. Hey, look. What happened there? Oh my god. I think to I think for cleaning up like loads of little trees, it's 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 fine to use this. Especially if you want to like cut down a big tree just to pat out the bottom and then put loads of little trees in, but just winching over four at a time of the big trees four at a time is it's probably good too. There's definitely um, some patches where there's going to be small trees to um, to do, right? But for the big ones, we can just do it like this. in the whole field. I think the winch uh, is especially good for these areas here where they're really close, right? Like right here next to the sawmill, for example. All right, that's, uh, that's that big cleared out for now. There is a bunch of stuff over here. 
on this new land that we got that we can start clearing out too. You can collect four logs with the uh, with the winch. There's a there's a weight uh, maximum. So say you have like a smaller tractor, you can't attach four big trees. It'll exceed it. But if you're not, uh, if you've got like a big tractor and you and you want to winch as much as possible, you can do up to four things, and that includes small trees too. So it's, I mean, it has its limitations for sure. Those little baby trees here. So how big is this? Oh, so you can cut it down to five and then it'll just get rid of the extra bit. That's fine. 79 kilograms. already five. So see like for a job like this the winch is it would it's slower, right? With this we can just uh we can load up a load of these now. And then winch a couple of big ones back with us too. So the these are all map trees, right? So the difference is the trees that you plant can grow to full size, which is for spruce, it's, I think it's 35.5 meters. And you saw the ones that we cut just before, how heavy the base was for the trailer to pick up. Even like five meters, it, they weigh tons and tons and tons and tons. But these, these are, um, these trees aren't planted by me. They're trees that are just on the map by default. They don't grow. So even these small ones won't grow. So we cut them all down, clear it out, and then replant in this area if we want to. I don't think we need to. I can, there's good soil here, so I don't think we want to plant trees here again. I think we just want to probably buy 58 and then just get another massive field in here, you know? I think, uh, I think this is kind of like the limit of 
It's like right down here. Of what I of what I own here. Where'd the other one go? It was right, right here a second ago? Oh, it's here. It's so hard to see in the, uh, the grass. Uh. I got rid of all of it. Nice. All right. Look at these other small trees as well. Why am I cutting grass when I could be eating ass? Well, I'm trying to get my energy levels up for the main event. Oh. ones are already they're really small ones <clears throat> five meters already Keep dropping it. <laughs> I think this one is is technically on my land. <clears throat> Don't worry, one day it'll all be my land.
I don't know if it's Angry Birds. <coughs> it's making me angry. I'm pissed. Oh, you can really let the uh, the slack out on the uh, on the chain. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh shit! Should have raised the uh, the equipment. Look at that! Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. That's great. Oh god, that's good. Okay, good. 42,000 liters of wood. Holy crap. There's still a lot of flour. There's still a lot of planks there. There's still quite a bit of canola left, actually. It's not too bad. Okay, now that the uh, all the small stuff is gone, we can... Park this up. And then we can uh, go back out there and just pull some bigger trees in. that tells you what you made each month? I... probably? Statistics? No. Um, contracts? Finances? Yeah, there you go. You can see how much we lost each month. Hmm. I think the log trailer is fine for, um... tidying up um, all the little trees in these map generated forests but I don't think it's any good for chopping up big trees into uh, into segments it takes way too long and we can we can transport four of these at a time the winch it takes far less time. can't handle it.
<laughs> Good lord. I think I can get it. Yeah. Just straighten out a bit. Yes, push it. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Big Red can handle it, it's fine. I tell you what, four big logs is still a little bit of a struggle. You did four big logs today too? Nice, nice. Yeah, I think it's just too many leaders in a log. Six liters of wood in the sawmill now. It's the most I think we've ever had. Crazy. Um, actually, we can go and cut down some more trees. We should probably start clearing all the trees out of here. I can upgrade the horsepower twice on this, actually. Oh, there's still a couple of small uh, trees here, too. Any sales? Oh, nothing new. So we bought the Mack truck. How do I um, cancel this 
release the winch. Control, detach, oh why? This is a big one. Volt the tractor? No. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. There's nothing uh, to do on the fields today, is there? Mulch needs rolling. No. Okay, everything's good. We already done we already done all the jobs that needed to be done. We can actually extend this field a little bit if we want to. Have it meet up with the edge of this one. Might be an idea. Use the new plow. Now that we've done all of this beautiful logging, I'm doing it. Oh shit, my plow. Holy crap, this plow is huge. Somebody was saying yesterday to hang on to the little plow because it's hard to um, do like the 
the little bits of the field, but we might just have to use the terrain painter because I, I think I know what they mean. <laughs> it's crazy. I think we want it around here. Uh, it's not easy. Just yeah, I should have kept the little one. The the little one would have been so much better to just do the outline and then use the big one to plow inside. I mean I can always just buy the little one again too. Rotate fold lower. So sorry about this. Me and my me and my big ideas. I need the small plow to do the corners and stuff. It's it's hard. It's hard with the big one. I can try turning it. line up the the back wheel instead
just trying to get an idea of oh it's so the the little wheel would need to go like in the uh, in the other field a little that I guess oh god oh it's because I'm hitting the edge of the uh, the map I think god this fucking thing is really tricky I think I got it now. We're like just cutting. It's fine actually to cut in a little bit to the other field. Just we don't want to do too much. Fuck. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, stop. <laughs> this fucking plow. I can't see. I can't even zoom out enough to see what I'm doing. It's cutting into the other field a little bit, but I mean, we're meant, to, we're ex extending this field, so it's fine. Oh, this, this plow is impossible. I'll get the small plow after. So that we can uh, do the corners and stuff. 
And then the next time we have to actually do the outline of a field, we'll use the small plow and then just uh, do the the inside with this, right? This is a bit unwieldy, yeah. I, I mean, it. Once you're inside, like the 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 guidelines, it's it's great. We have to get Al to uh, pick up the stones here too. I think we'll pick up the stones, but. I don't think we'll cultivate until, um, there's not really much point in planting anything here, I guess, right? Uh, we've got this lined up with the, with the other field, which I think is fine. Maybe we should buy 58. Buy the whole interstate? That's a good idea, actually. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, I can just connect. Okay, good. I think we'll I think we'll try to not build so close to the edge of the map next time too because that's kind of annoying on sale just check the check our productions oh my god we have 74,000 liters of wood in the uh, sawmill We'll use the small plow to uh, fix up the edges and stuff here. Hey, look, all the equipment's getting washed now. We didn't even need the pressure washer. What did I use money on today? Um, chat, help me, I can't remember. Everything? God, we bought everything. We bought so much stuff. Oh, we bought a Mack truck with a... Yeah! Yes! We bought this! Oh, look at it! It's red! Look at this thing! No, oh, it's great. Let's go sell this stuff and we'll, I'll buy the little plow and I can uh, finish up that field extension. And then we can get uh, Al to do the um, stone picking. It'll cultivate it too when we stone pick it, so it'll get a, it'll get a little bit weedy until we're ready to 
harvest and plant, but that's fine. We'll have to survey it, too, when it's all done. I'm pretty sure it's loam under there, but we'll see. Look at that! I did it. No bread. Oh shit. One planks. Yes. Any honey? Oh, I forgot to check, actually. Probably not that much, honestly. put the other stuff right at the back so it's going to be like a separate little load. By the little plow. Let's get this thing returned. Ready for some more loading. to get the uh, the big uh, oil tank that we can pull with the truck as well, right? That'd be good. Thank you. 
All right, we are once again buying a plow. Uh, whoever mentioned it yesterday, sorry for doubting you. 3.5 meters? I think we could just grab the POV5 XL again. Because uh, we're just using this... Uh, ah. Maybe we get this one. It's a little bit longer. We were using this one yesterday, and honestly, to draw a field, it was it was perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. 16k. It's back. It's back in the fold. We just sold it yesterday, and now we're buying it again. Yeah, we need it. Not just for edges, but just for outlines as well. Get the outlines done. Use the big one to uh, to plow out the middle. Perfect. We, we should have marked the field with six meter spacings, yeah. I did not, though. I think for now, let's just build. I feel like if we build it, they will come. And that's why I'm building so much. Some, some new land would be really good. This land here, 56, would be perfect. Some nice space in here for potentially a nice big grass field. If we get a nice big grass field that we can just mow and bale up every couple of months. Can feed sheep. I mean, if we get a baler that can wrap, um, when we have too much, we can just wrap for silage as well, right? That might be good. I'm playing on hard economic difficulty, which I think if we were playing on uh, easy or normal, uh, our our big um, our big loads that we sold would be worth way more. We'd get way more money. But chat were um, making fun of me for wanting to play on not hard difficulty, so in the end I just said, fine, let's do it. No, no, I know I can't play on PAB mode. right to get this corner good enough
Whoa. Um, where does the... Oh, the wheel's got to be on the outside, I think, right? Oh, it's so much easier using this one. Yeah, like this, I think? Perfect. All right, good. Uh, let me just plow this little uh, bit in the middle here. That was too difficult to do with the big one. I know the edges aren't perfect and stuff, but it's a farm chat. There are gonna be like a couple of rough little edges here and there. Right, Al. Off he goes. So much chicken and not enough time. All right, good job, Al. We kept the new tree thing, yeah. We'll use it for, for like, the little small trees. We won't uh, use it to cut up big trees anymore, though. It's too much. It takes, it takes too long. I think if we're going to do stuff with big trees, we'll wait till we get the, um... The big boy. But... We cannot afford the big boy. All right, cool. So that field's been extended. Uh, I need to uh, survey it while he's doing that. It's it's not worth spending three grand on just blanket surveying it, right? Because it's uh, it's only going to be like four samples or something.
This should just be loam up here. Sorry, down here. Yeah, we just extended this field into uh, this area that I just cut all these trees down in. The Originally, the field was the size it was because there were so many trees in the way. But we can, uh, we can extend it now. Oh my god, is Jeremy Clarkson in the chat right now? I love you, Jeremy. You banned... You banned him? You did it. 88 bucks wage payment to Al. 750 for the. I'm broke. Yeah, it's just loam. I think all the way over here, we want to extend this field probably. The loam. a tree following me. in a rush to do anything with that field that he's uh, taking the stones out of right now. It's just more getting it ready for um, next year and then if we buy some more land. I think we should try to buy 58. But I would like to buy 56 first. Because I feel like we could... Um... I think this field here will change a little bit, actually. I think we might cut it in half. I think we cut it in half so that we can have another road through um, to the uh, to the cell point here. We got this one, and then we can have one that that connects up here, comes down here too, right? Because then that connects better with all the production. And this field we can extend down into fifty six, make another big field. I feel like um, in the middle of forty six here, where all the uh, all the clay is so we got all of our production here we're gonna have some production in here too we can probably just grow uh, grass on the uh, silty clay right because it will be harvesting it so often it's not like we're waiting around for a year and we need high yields or whatever trees as well yeah I don't think we're ever going to run out of space to plant trees. Like, we currently just have so many trees as well. Yeah, I think, um... I think we, uh... We can, we can square this field off. Probably, like... Match it up with this one. And then... Have, uh, an, a road going through here. I mean, it almost is matched up. We could square it off in this corner. It's like it would be one little patch of, like, whatever, clay, I guess. Just to just to make it square. And then it makes it easier for the AI to be able to, uh, to do stuff with it as well. What year are we now? Oh, man, I don't even know. I'm not sure.
Yeah, you can have bees in this game now. Greenhouses. I might actually use my. Once the greenhouses are full, I might. Um, uh, actually, we'll probably stay up all night and just load stuff up, right? We might as well. I don't think you can name each individual bee, you know. I don't think that's possible. I don't even think you can name... Well, maybe you can rename the beehives. I don't know. Any sales? Sounded really mad. I think he saw this huge truck that we've got and just lost his mind. Right to the top, yeah. We got so much room for stuff on this one. And we got the uh, the horsepower, the truck. I'm just 500 horsepower is wild. It can really pull the loads. November. There's quite a bit of honey um, piled up there now. <coughs> All right, we feed the chickens today. Get this refilled. Loads of woods, woods and planks. 
flour. We're gonna need some more. Check the price of sorghum. It's 487. 521. Should we sell it or should we just feed it to the chickens? Use the wheat to make, uh... Use the wheat to make flour and bread. <sighs> oh, part of me. I know, what a trailer, eh? I used to unload these bad boys at uh, the grocery store when I used to work there. You get two of these every night, and they were fucking packed, like all the way right to the door. damn years well well <laughs> um, I mean it was fun the people I worked with were really fun to work with Play grocery store simulator after this? I would play one actually if there was one. Relive my glory days. We are producing so much stuff now, it's crazy.
getting jammed up on here. Maybe I should get a forklift. I was so intrigued by your story of playing cooperative Nintendo with the kids. I bought my three kids an early Christmas Switch with Mario Kart and Wonder. Nice. It has caused more yelling and fights than I thought was possible. Yes. Merry Yule, you old <laughs> bastard. <laughs> hey Kyle, Merry Yule to you as well. Thank you so much for the 10. I appreciate it. I hope your kids don't fight too much. Mario Kart is a, is a really big argument game. Mario Wonder is as well, honestly. My, I don't know if your kids do this. My kids do It's like, just, just wait for me. Why are you going so fast? Oh, I'm dying all the time. Oh, my God. You're wasting all the lives. Oh. It's like, it's, it's constant. It is fun, though. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow, this is a big load. Jeez! 63? 63k for all that? That's pretty good. We have enough to buy another field. Maybe we should. I can't think of anything else that we need right now except for saving up for a better harvester, but... We got everything that we need to prep some more fields. Big, the big tree harvester uh, costs a fortune. It would be good, don't get me wrong, but I think we really need to start upping our. Um, now that we can upgrade the uh, the factories. We need to start upping our um, throughput. The trees make more furniture. Be good. Oh. That's annoying. Um, right. This guy just sort of gave up at the end here. Al's done. The uh, the rusty silos capacity is is nuts. It's like I think it's like 200k or something. It's huge. To, we need to cultivate this again um, for the next uh, next time we plant, because it'll just be weeds. To get in here and clear more of these trees if we buy 58. I think we'll buy 56 though and then we can start organizing that side a little bit more. There's some trees to uh, to move out of the way there too. Lots of them in fact. weeds after the first season of plowing? Oh, okay, well, that's good. Um... 
Oh yeah, I need to feed the chickens. And we need some more wheat. For flour. <coughs> we might as well just use the rest of the, the wheat for flour. We planted some more, so... If we run out, we run out. We'll just have to plant more and harvest more. We want to keep up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right on the corner. Okay, these silos, I think we can empty out these silos and probably sell them. Get some better ones soon. And put them in a better spot too, because it, it's really annoying where they are right now. Feeding the chickens. All right, and then let's get some more flour made. So chickens are done. How much canola do we have left? 20,000 liters of canola. Oh man, the canola goes a long way, eh? Holy crap, you can make so much money off a of canola harvest with the oil. Oh, it's nuts. And it, and it the cycles per month are good as well on this. We upgrade this building. Oh my God, there's gonna be canola oil everywhere. It's wild. It is wild. For what it, for what it's worth, the bread, bread is. It says it has as many cycles, but it's so slow. I guess it's about as fast as. No, nah, it's probably as fast as canola, right? We're we're running a full cycle. Bread is um has doubled because we upgraded the building once. Um, are we buying 56? If we buy 56, we gotta do lots of, uh, cleanup. Uh, of, like, wood and stuff like that. If we bought 58, I don't know if we'd extend the field in 57. I think we would just build another field of similar size next to it, right? And then we could have, like, something else. You know, an another huge canola field, for example, and then... 57, we could just plant wheat every year, whatever. 45 is going to be full of uh, clay. 48 will be uh, loam as well. It'll be mostly loam, because there's loam here and loam here, and then I think there's probably going to be some sandy loam up there too. 56 is going to be a lot of sandy loam. Yeah, I mean, sandy loam's not so bad. It doesn't matter. We can just have a smaller field in there, sandy loam. There, there's loam down here, so I think that the loam stretches probably down a little and then into sandy loam. But yeah, this field, we could cut this field in half. We could even join, if we were to cut this field where this is going, uh, like the diagonal bit, for example, 
we could run a road down into here and then connect this field to 57, right? And then have like a big field here and then another one right next to it here, right in 58. Two really huge ones. And then this one could go down to well, pretty much the shop, right? I don't, I think it's a bit hilly in here though. are buggy to remove so we might just use if there's hills and it's too much of a pain in the ass to get rid of them we'll uh we'll just plant trees there like in here 47 we'll just plant trees there all the time i think that'll just be one place it's a nice little spot it's hilly and then there's like rock face and shit on the other side too right all right let's buy 56 and then we can start tidying up a little bit we can we can tidy up these fields and make it a little bit better. Look at that. There's still so much left. Hello? I think I'm back. I don't know what happened. I think possibly Twitch. I haven't dropped any packets, so I think it might be a Twitch thing. There's still so much what? Um, what was I saying? Oh, there's still so many. I, I was saying there's still so many um, trees to clear over here. We gotta clear all this shit. Now that we own this this field, we can finally. The legal dispute is over. Can you believe it? Guess who won the legal dispute? It was me! Oh man. Feels great. There was a whole bunch of contention over whether or not I cut down trees that weren't in my land and yada yada yada, but in the end, I just bought the land, and the lawsuit went away. It didn't catch up with us. See, this is, this is more how we should be spending the winter, right? Spend the evenings... Um, running a cycle through, loading up the truck, do a sale, and then during the day in the winter, try to buy land and start preparing fields and stuff for next year, right? That's got to be the way to do it. It's the most efficient use of our time. There's a whole bunch of little trees um, out here in the field too, right? I should go pick them up when we built the other field. No, I, I, well, I got the thing because I thought we could chop up some of the other trees but the really big ones are I don't think it's worth doing these these are all liftable ah it's like it's like 19 grand for a fairly useful trailer it's it's all right
Whoops. More small trees? Oh yeah, there's tons. Just make sure there's none in here. These other ones, we can just pull them. So the idea is to chop everything down here and then um, try to flatten the land. And then probably make another field. Let's go find all these other uh, little trees over here. Oh, actually, we can cut down a couple of these ones, too. Because they'll be in the way. I'm preparing my land. Every time, <laughs> fucking <laughs> the gunner position of the uh, the crane arm trailer. those ones near there because I think well we will go in and chop them all down after but they're not in the way of creating any fields or anything right now I gotta find these other damn trees there's a whole bunch there's about four over here if I remember ah I see there's a couple right in front
I get in the tractor, I can get the nice birds I've... Okay, I don't see any... Wait. That's oh, just a bush. Are these all just bushes? Yeah, they are. Okay. Can you grow weed? No. I don't think you can. Is there a weed? Is there a mod for growing weed? Alright, I think that's all the small trees around here. Ah, hang on one second. I forgot one. Ooh. So we'll just come back here with the uh, with the winch and then try to get rid of all these big trees. We'll take two with us for now though. Game, please let me do this. Oh yeah, it's going to. It's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Just gonna let some slack. <laughs> Fucking winch. I think it's full. <laughs> I think the, uh, I think the, I think the sawmill's full. Where the hell am I going to put all this wood? To the farm store? Oh my god. We're gonna have so much wood stored here. I didn't. Does the capacity increase if you upgrade the sawmill? I think we'll just have to start storing some trees there and then we can winch them over when it 
it's ready to go. Timber! There, I see I did, I yelled it. Timber! There's nobody out here to hear it. I'm all by myself. <laughs> well, I guess there's the lady that works at the store. I'm gonna start storing some wood over here and then we can just drag it over to the sawmill when we need to. I don't think there's any like nice way to store wood except for like on the logging trailers or whatever. There's a mod for a woodshed. <clears throat> what, like a storage sort of thing? I think, um, I don't think I can get the thing to reach up there. <laughs> it's, it's quite far.
tree. Uh, it's falling. There's only three trees left. And then we can flatten all the terrain. <laughs> I did it! I've clear cut the whole area! <laughs> Should I be proud? Well, that's a lot of logs for the uh, sawmill when uh, when it needs them. Jeez, that's a lot. I guess we'll just leave them all there for now. Um, anything else to cut right now? No, I don't think so. We probably want to plow another field. Look at the small plow. up enough wood to take this. No, it hasn't. I might have to push it out of here, actually. Take it over here. Put it with its own people. We're not in. We're not. Well, I guess we're kind of in the lumber business. Yeah, we've done a lot of lumber stuff today. For a change. to do some landscaping over here. 
which I think we, I don't even think we can afford it. Well, it's quite expensive. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna run out of money. <laughs> we we might need to wait. What's uh what's the deal with oh I found the other stump, okay. We'll get rid of it. We might have to uh sell some stuff. I got no money. Two stumps. that a stump? Uh, yes. No. There's no way that is. This isn't a stump either. It's just like a... It's just like a little... Pe now here's a stump. I don't see any more stumps. All right, we need some landscaping money. If we want to uh, carry on with this field. I'm pretty sure this is loam here. Yeah, it is. So I think it, it'll be loam for a bit, and then it'll be a, a bunch of sandy loam, right? Which is fine. That's fine. Make this into a, a straighter field. gonna be pretty it'll be a pretty big field going down here actually it'll go from here and connect down and go all the way down and then where this uh diagonal bit is we'll put uh a road a road and some grass on the side and then i don't know, like some fences or something i don't know we just need like a, a shortcut through from the production area to um to the town is loamy sand good for grapes I have no idea. I've never done grape stuff. So I'm not sure. Is it grapes that are expensive to do or is it all all is it olives or both? And they all need like their own machinery and stuff. Planting the initial grapevines is expensive? Okay. There is a there is a forklift in this game, I just don't use it. <laughs> it's too uh it's a bit like using the um the the grabber for logs. There's ton there's there's tons of little forklifts though. They're 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 pretty good. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is like a like an Amazon warehouse one. It looks cool though. There's the, like little tractor ones. There's you can get attachments for your tractors, front loaders, there's wheel loaders, telehandlers, like there's tons of stuff they can do. Forklifting. Oh yeah, I just fed them, right? I did. Lots of wheat. Flour should be coming up. There's still 19,000 liters of canola. So it's November? When did we harvest the canola? July? 
so in four months we used up half our supply. So we need to plant some more canola to keep up with that. So if we want to ha be creating canola oil all year round, which I think we probably do, um, we'll need to plant more. time since uh, we now need money. Look, there's a couple of big stones in the field. I must have missed a couple. mad because he knows I don't have much money but he's seen the value of all the goods that I'm piling up onto the truck now to sell and he thinks it's like he thinks he's finally got me but he can't kill the king you know or at least if you're gonna take a, a shot at the king make sure you don't miss December. Any sales? Yes! Gosh. Uh, there's a tractor here. It's only 180 horsepower. And there's a header here, too, for a lot of the stuff that we grow. If we want another big, big tractor, like a big, big red style tractor, that would be good. Does anything need to be done to these fields? No. There's no weeds in December? Fill the greenhouses before I go because they're completely out of water. Now that's true. I know. Look at it. It's huge. Santa's outside your house right now, Dowie. What's he wearing? He's nude. 
What about he's he's wearing socks and like those uh, those male sock suspenders. They, they always have them on uh, Boardwalk Empire, you know the ones? That's all he's got on. <laughs> nice. Merry Christmas. Ooh. Eggs. Uh, that's fine, I'm putting the eggs on top of the furniture. Sorry, I know it's very loud in the truck. Quite a few planks. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Oh my god, the bakery is so loud. Why is the bakery so unbelievably loud compared to all of the other ones? I mean, the, the sawmill is loud, but at least it, it sounds how I expect a sawmill to sound. A bakery, I don't ex expect it to sound that like that or that loud. I'm off to pedal. <laughs> yes, I'm off to pedal my wares. Off I go. This is a pretty good, pretty big load. I think this will probably be over 50, maybe just. Oh, 
Oh yeah, holy crap, it's a big one. It's, uh, what, 63? <laughs> oh, it's taking shape now. It is it is really shaping up. This is starting to look actually like a farm. Because before it looked like it's a weird place for a dude to sleep in his tent. get in here and flatten this now. Definitely uh, some bits of land that I cannot flatten here. For some reason. So just like some little pyramids here. Does anybody have any experience with uh, terraforming um, in this game? Oh, maybe it's because there's that, like a little piece of wood on there. But what's the excuse for this one then? What's, what's here? I don't think there's anything there. Or on this one. Okay, great, thanks. Some really useful advice. Thanks, chat. You think it's just these little stumpy pieces of wood that's doing it? Oh yeah, this one's fine now. This one's not. Neither is this one. Or that one. buggy sometimes you need to place objects right next to it and it'll flatten no the lower um, lowering tool doesn't seem to really work either what can I place here that's cheap. What's like the go-to thing for flattening? Oh, tents. Yeah, of course. Will tents do it? It's just like building inside of it.
Hey, look at my saw. <laughs> I got my saw out. Oh, I got it. do there oh the tent worked you think it flattened it enough let me try put a tent right next to this one and this one and that and that one too oh my god the tents actually worked That's crazy. This one, I th this last little uh, one here, I think it's just because there's a piece of wood here. All right, well, it costs a bit to do, but I think it's probably worth it in the end, right? see any more weird mounds or anything I think we're good well done chat All it took was 10 grand and 17 tenths to get it flat. <laughs> it sounds about right, yeah. Fucking tree. It is. I missed one. How could this be? just going to take it gently down to about here. We want a, a little road to go through here, I think. So, like, here is fine. Give ourselves a little bit of space either side, right? That'll be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay, yeah, just, um, you can just lean it up anywhere. Yeah, yeah, of course. No. Just 
straight as an arrow. All right, we got to line this up with uh, where the road is going to go, right? Hey. <laughs> Yeah. So we're, we're lining it up to about here, I think. Because this rock is in the way too, right? Oh, fudge. We're not going to be able to line it up perfectly with the, with the edge, but close enough, right? I think that's probably fine. I think that's okay. No, we can't blow up the rocks. Um, I mean, there might be a mod that can do it. I don't know. Okay, we'll do the, the outline and then we'll um, we'll analyze the um, the lines at the bottom just to see if it is sandy loam. Because we, we don't want to waste a lot of time plowing if it's just going to be, you know, clay down there or whatever. know that this is uh is low here so we can definitely do this side right cutting into our canola Yeah, this is a, this is going to be another big one. Look at that. Huge. some of the canola but it's only a little bit right it's fine don't want any weird gaps left get the uh, the machine and put the little plow back. We're going to have to do the plowing uh, tomorrow though, Chet. I gotta go in a sec. Man, we did a lot today. We got a lot of stuff done.
Yeah, we got the big plow for uh, plowing out the field. Taking samples. Just want to see what we're working with all the way down. Do 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 So you can you can take the sample like not on the plowed bit but it'll only uh it'll only take a reading for a bit that's plowed. It's, it's kinda weird, but whatever, eh? Start making circular fields for easy sampling. That's a great idea. It'd be much easier to uh, to work them as well, right? And when we get the sprinkler mod, it'll be perfect because sprinklers only spray in a circle. All right, let's see. What is it? Yeah, it's loam. Quite a bit of it's going to be loam. Maybe like a third of it will be loam, and the rest of it will be sandy loam. That's fine. So we're going to build a road that connects through to here to the production area as well. And that will mostly just be over sandy loam. The road will come through here. It's a shame this rock is here, but... What can you do? Eh? There's so much more room to extend this. Well, we could probably extend this field. I don't know if we'd put the extension onto a, on a slant, though. Maybe we'd just square it off. Make the road go over the rock? Like a, like a bridge or something? I don't think you can. All right, good farming. That's great. Man, it is shaping up. We have so much space for activities now that we bought some more lands. Jeez, so we got another big field. We extended uh, the big field. We've got another uh, fairly big field. Some alterations for the next harvest uh, with this field as well. We can make that road. It'll be a little bit easier for us to um, get to and from the shop be really good we sorted out the uh, canola oil issue that we're having uh, and now we have an issue whereby we have cut down so many trees that our sawmill is at capacity so we have this little holding area over here for spare wood which is fine it's December it's December I don't have to do anything on these fields and there is a baler. I don't think this one wraps. The square ones typically can't be wrapped, I don't think. That's a huge one though, 69 grand, jeez. We got 56,000. Chat? I'll be back tomorrow.
thank you so much for watching. It's been a full ass day of farming. Sorry for the little um, blip there earlier as well. I don't know. I think Twitch is having some issues or something. Temporarily. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to... It'll be a bit of a later start tomorrow, but I am around tomorrow at some point. It'll be... Might be like sort of midday rather than uh, in the morning. But um, there's nothing else uh, planned, uh, so it won't be uh, anything but... You guessed it. More farming. Oh my god. <laughs> it's coming together though. It's taking shape. It's looking really good. Um, thank you so much uh, for watching. Thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I appreciate all the support. Hope you have a good one. Take it easy. LOL. Lots of love and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye now. Bye.